Hey guys, it's Con B, and today we're doing another Rec Room Studio tutorial. This time we'll be teaching you about how to change materials using Studio Functions. This would be really useful if you have a store and you want to sell different skins, maybe for a gun. The, the possibilities are infinite, but before I jump into the video, don't forget to check out my profile, hit the support button, or when you purchase an item in Rec Room, feel free to just use that code Con B. It really helps my channel out and helps m support these tutorials and the more the more supporters i have the more tutorials i'll be able to do so without further ado let's go hop into studio all right here we are in a completely empty map and i'm going to just spawn in a cube so let's go 3d object cube and this is what we're going to be changing but what exactly where exactly are we going to get the materials i'll show you in just a moment you could go to any website that has materials. If, for example, this one is Ambient CG. And if I just explore these assets, you could just go ahead and download any of these onto your computer. The other way to get materials would be to find a picture. For example, if I just type in Galaxy and yeah, we could just literally find a image that we like that is free to use and just right click and save that image. So let's go back into the studio and I'll show you what I downloaded and how to get those materials into your project. All right, so here I am in on my computer and I downloaded three of the Ambient CG textures as well as just some pictures that I thought would look cool. So let's just drag those into our Rec Room Studio tutorial. And again, I just created a folder called guns so I don't forget what folder I'm looking into and the reason I labeled it guns is honestly because people will most likely use this for guns. Alright so in terms of bricks we want to take in the color and the normal DX and we'll do the same thing for a grass texture. Yes if you want a grass cube or grass gun and let's just drag those in. All right, now that I have all these materials dragged in, let's right click and create a material. The first one will be easy because this is it's this focal material and I just dragged that over to my base map and I want to la relabel this just so I remember what material is what. We'll do the same thing for the galaxy skin and we'll just drag in the galaxy. Then we'll also create another material, and this time we're, this will be for the bricks. And we'll drag the brick color to the base color, and then we'll take this normal map over here. And I'll want to drag down the smoothness. And again, you could just duplicate this or create a new material. And this time I will call this grass not gas, grass. Okay, there we go. And again, drag that to my base map. Drag this to my normal map. And here we go. We have our four materials that we're going to use. If you have something that says a material is using the texture as a normal map, just hit fix now. That'll solve your problems. And if I drag one of these over, you'll see that the cube changed color, but how do we make this dynamic so that you could change the color whenever you want? We're gonna first drag our cube into our Maker Pen Objects fold, uh, folder, or I should say category, and convert to Studio Prop. And then I'll add the Rec Room script. Then you wanna open the prefab and go over to Studio Functions and yes, we're going to add a studio function. And I'm going to call this studio function material swap, just so I remember what it's for. I'm going to change the type from a method to a switch. So that way I could switch the material. I'm going to, in this case, use, use integers. And we're going to go ahead, drag our cube over to our instructions. Go to select method, mesh renderer, material, set. 
then what you'll want to do is drag in what you want your like base material to be. That's your default. Let's add a few more. So just add the plus sign. And we're going to repeat the same exact steps, but this time we'll we'll change the method from in terms of material and we'll just change that to maybe a galaxy and we'll do this for each each of those materials so again add another case drag over the cube mesh render material set we'll add the grass and now just one more Alright, so now we have our galaxy as case 0, case 1 is grass, case 2 is bricks, and our default is the bokeh. And you know what, we're just going to add one more, so that way if I, I do want to add bokeh as another case, I think they'll allow me to change it, and that will be case number 3. There we go. Now we should all be set up. Now, after you create your instructions, you'll want to select input port. And in this case, we'll hit new parameter int. And it's just going to say switch. Now, if we exit out and go back to our main scene, let's test this out. And I'll show you how, how this works and how you could swap the materials. All right, so I just spawned into my room. And here I have my cube along with the circuit board. I'm going to go and add a studio function and we'll just put this right here and I'll also spawn in a button for the execution and all I'll have to do is link when I press the button I want to execute the studio function we'll have to configure the studio function to be the material swap and you'll notice when I do that, we now have this switch and we'll connect the cube to our cube prop. So now if I press the button, we have our galaxy. If I change it to one, we have a grass texture. If I change it to two, we have bricks. And if I change it to three, it just goes back to our default. Again, if I hit two and now Say I put in a number that doesn't exist and I hit that button, it's going to go back to the default anyway, so that's just useful to know. I hope this video helped you guys out with your Rec Room Studio adventures. Can't wait to see what you build, let me know in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for further Rec Room Studio tutorials, just let me know. And don't forget, hit that support code COMB or just hit it in my profile and I'll continue to make more studio tutorials. That's all I have for today. I'll see you in the next one.